Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. And boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Boom! What do we have here? So just when you think Andy Ruiz was able to secure a five to ten million dollar payday against a nobody, a kickboxer, someone who hasn't fought since 2019, someone who wouldn't dare uh, jeopardize his record to get him back on a winning, or get him on a another uh, another win and get him on the winning streak he needs to get him back into a championship fight. Luis Ortiz says, hold your horses. Say acabo, it's over. I'm going to end Andy Ruiz's career. And Ruiz should feel that way. Look, Andy Ruiz is hurting himself. He had a contract to fight Luis Ortiz. What's the problem? You see, that that's the thing. What made Andy Ruiz think it was okay to go fight on Triller? That's crazy. When he knew that he had a contract to fight Ortiz. Now, my thing is, maybe the, the date wasn't agreed to. Or maybe there was a breakdown in the communication process. But Andrew Ruiz chose to go out here and uh, sign with Triller to fight this nobody. Spawn, a kickboxer who hasn't fought since 2019. Uh, who only has, like, you know, uh, not even 15 fights. Majority of them by knockout. But Luis Ortiz isn't going for that. Luis Ortiz knows he gets Andy Ruiz in that ring. He knows what this means for him if he defeats Andy Ruiz. People, look. If Luis Ortiz knocks out Andy Ruiz, Luis Ortiz has to be the next in line for a title shot. Has to be. I get it with Dillian White and, um, and what's his name? Uh, Fury. That's going to be a fight. Probably be a rematch involved. It may even be a trilogy. But if Fury beats Dillian White, there's no rematch. And then you have Fury and AJ. If AJ beats Yusick, it shouldn't be a rematch. So Luis Ortiz gets to fight Andrew Ruiz this summer. Fury fights Dillian White. AJ fights Yusick. If Fury wins and AJ wins, maybe they fight the end of this year. And then probably next summer. So Ortiz will still have to wait a year to try to get a shot at the title. So I think after, after Ruiz, the Ruiz fight, you got to look at somebody else. You know, F.A. Akjama has just fallen off, but he needs a good comeback, comeback fight, you know. But don't be surprised and then put Cuban against Cuban, Frankie Sanchez, because he can bang. And I bet that's what they'll do. Take Luis Ortiz. Take Luis Ortiz. I'm going to finish my thought and I'll go back to that. Take Luis Ortiz and put him against Frank Sanchez. Because who's he going to fight? He'll big up to my boy who reminded me of that guy's name, Oscar Rivas. Right? But who's he going to fight? There's Luis Ortiz is... is now I'm going to go back to my other fight. He's about to become the Dillian White of the heavyweight division. Just keep beating people. Beating people. And just can't get the big the big shot. Now he did have an opportunity at, 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 De, at Deontay Wilder. So I mean, not quite Dillian White, but... He was winning those fights and got knocked out. But it is coming back to a point right here, okay? He's winning, he's winning, he's winning. When is he going to get another shot? How many people is he going to have to defeat before he gets a shot? Now, I think, I think it would be good to see him, and I don't hate to see the two Cubans go at it, but I think Frank Sanchez would knock him out. If, if Charles Martin can knock Ortiz, out, Ortiz down twice, and look, Frank Sanchez would, would knock him out cold. And the Andy Ruiz... That in the first Joshua fight and all the fights prior to that, that the big fat chubby Andrew Ruiz was a monster, a monster. I'd say he beat all these guys, but this Andrew Ruiz is not the same. He's not the same, man. He got he got paid, man. He's rich. I mean, it's just not the same. And I and I can understand what happens to your passion, desire, when you're living a good life. Everybody's taken care of, but. It's still a lot of money to be made if that's his desire. If that's not his desire, maybe his passion is to go on and become the champion again. If money and becoming a champion isn't his desire, maybe he just loves to fight. If he doesn't, no longer loves to fight, he no longer cares about making a lot of money because he has it, and no longer cares about being a champion because he already checked that box, he needs to stop fighting. Because what's going to happen, he's affecting his legacy now. Everybody's calling him a chicken, a coward, a bum. Because he, he's looking for e the easy money. And I get it. I get it. But do it after you retired and cemented your legacy like Mayweather did. You understand? 
do it after, like Evander Holyfield. You know, Lennox Lewis, those guys, the Klitschko's, if they chose to, come back in the exhibition, take out a BS fight on Triller. I mean, don't, there's no question, no matter what happens to him, people are like, oh, well, you know, Evander Holyfield getting knocked out by the guy that affected his legacy. No, it didn't. That's 60 something years old, okay? And the referee stopped it too fast, but the reason they stopped it is because, you know, he's up in age. But, 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 but just stop with the nonsense. But long, anyway, long story short, Andrew Ruiz did not, obviously did not want to fight um, uh, Luis Ortiz, and now he has to. And the thing is, Triller, they said they weren't aware of that. And I, I, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a very cutthroat world in box, boxing and promotion and these networks. But at the same time, Triller doesn't want to burn bridges with PBC. Doesn't want to let it burn a bridge with PBC. Then that means top rank, the zone, and every other promotional outfit is going to look and say, "Okay, we may have our differences, but we're going to come together, and they're going to just basically blackball Triller." And when it comes to fight dates, Triller's going to have a tough time getting fight dates, and that's what's going to happen. And that's what Triller said they did not want to happen. So they're going to make sure Andrew Ruiz. Uh, meets his contractual obligation and then they'll reschedule the fight sometime after uh, Ortiz and Ruiz, which is the right thing to do. But you better believe Andrew Ruiz, Ruiz burnt the bridge if he didn't disclose to um, to Triller that he had signed a contract last year after his knee surgery in August to fight Ortiz in the summer. You know, that's a foul, man. Nobody's gonna, no one can take you serious. If you're not upfront and transparent, nobody can take you serious. And that's what's happening to Andy Ruiz. You think them guys want to do business with him again? Yeah, okay, people can overlook stuff because they see the amount of money they can make in Mexico, hosting the fight in Mexico. But at the same time, they're like, okay, man, we got a long handle spoon, this guy. We'll keep you at a distance, champ. And we'll make sure we run everything through the proper wickets because obviously your word means nothing. And that's what that's the position people put themselves in when. People got to come back and backtrack and patch all these holes, man. That's just not the way things should, should happen. Get me wrong. We live in a world of change, a world of refinement, okay? It, it comes with the territory. But you shouldn't have to overhaul everything, you know what I mean? We'll make some refinement. When you have to overhaul the entire process and stuff from scratch, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's one of those, you know, break glass in case of emergency moments. And that's what happened. Those guys, you know, who knows what money they put up that was non-refundable as far as securing venues and stuff like that. And now they can't get back. And they're going to turn and look at Ruiz. Don't be surprised if a lawsuit comes out against them if they can't rework it out and if they recoup whatever money or whatever. They're going to come at Ruiz. So, or his management team or whoever dropped the ball. But um, anyway, glad to see Ortiz is back in, in the mix. This is going to be a huge fight. Looks like they're looking to put it on pay-per-view. I think it will sell. I think it will sell. Um, Ruiz, large following. Uh, Ortiz, has a large following. But, you know, I just think this would sell decent numbers, more than Keith Thurman's 50,000. I think they can do about 250 to 500. Not sure about a million, but they, they can get it up there. And uh, especially if they have a stacked undercard. they kind of stacked in the car. It's going to be pretty amazing. But anyway, it's back on. Don't know what Ruiz is getting paid, but surely it's not 5 to 10 million like what it was rumored to make uh, fighting on the trailer card. But um, anyway, more to come. That being said, uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button. Appreciate all the support that I'm getting. Shout out to all the veterans. You guys keep safe. More videos to come. As always, I'm in the breeze.